The person that the street is named after, Yawkey, and the whole Yawkey Foundation and everything, while the foundation seeks to do good work and the family has tried to reclaim the name, everyone is aware that the man who it's all named after, that Mr. Yawkey, was a vicious racist and white supremacist. Even saying that as long as he was alive, a nigger would never wear a uniform of the Boston Red Sox. So much so that he refused the first original player that would have came here who went on to uh, uh, historic achievements in baseball. Jackie Robinson, yes? Jackie yeah. Robinson. He refused Jackie Robinson because he did not want a black man, in his words, a nigger, playing for the Red Sox. Yawkey was a vicious racist, and despite the foundation's efforts to clean up the name with small and paltry donations to community endeavors and sponsoring Little League events and, and, and sponsoring uh, wings of hospitals and all that, it does not clean up the, the very specific legacy that deals with racism, which actually really deals with the diminishing of black life. And the fact that Mr. Yawkey felt as though we were subhuman. And he was like many other sports owners who are uh, much like what it is to be a horse owner. They, they view black men particularly as a commodity that works for their benefit that makes them millions of dollars without any respect for those individuals as athletes or or uh, uh, respect to the communities that they come from. Uh, not only that, the Red Sox also has a legacy uh, that deals with people who were employed by the Red Sox who have a legacy of pedophilia and sexual abuse. And if we look these things up, and we look up the names and books have been written, uh, books have been written, articles have been done, investigations have been done. This is the undercurrent. And this is the danger of uh, Red Sox Nation and the fervor to just throw such adulation and hero worship at these sports figures. So the Patriots, the Red Sox, the Celtics, the Bruins, and dare I say, the New England Revolution are all complicit in what has happened in Boston in terms of racism, in terms of the good old boy network that allows for sexism and misogyny, the, the good old boy network that allows, in many cases, for sexual abuse and pedophilia. And so, yes, I am very familiar with the name Yaki, and the name Yaki to me is much like the name uh, Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson. It's much like the names of all these other people with these memorials that we now want to say, take the names down because it's disgusting and that is not a man that I want to honor or respect or a legacy that I feel comfortable with children looking at. Is there another question? Yes. So you would say uh, you are very familiar with this debate, or you would say somewhat familiar with this debate, or you would say not very familiar. Or not I would say very familiar based on what you just heard. I would say very familiar. I'm very familiar with this debate. Very familiar. Gotcha. Uh -huh. And have you received any information about the Yaki Way name change in the mail recently? So you would say, yes, I received information in the mail? No, I haven't received anything in the mail, no. Nothing in the mail, no. Or you, would say, or you would say you have received information, but you have not received it in the mail. Or you would say you have not at all received any information. Not received it in the mail. I, I knew about this from the moment that it sparked. People such as myself okay. had a problem with Yaki being named after anything particularly the Roxbury Boys and Girls Club. But sir, did you receive any information? No. Not in the mail? No. Okay, so you're not at all receiving any information? No. Gotcha. And have you, have you seen or heard any stories about this topic? So you would say you yes. have seen or read a lot about this topic? Or you would say you have 
I've seen I've seen or read everything about this topic. So you would say a lot, correct? Yes. And now in talking in your opinion, sir, your opinion, should the city of uh, Boston keep the name Yorkie Way at Fenway Park? You would say definitely should keep the name, or you would say probably should keep the name, or you would say possibly should keep the name, or you would say possibly should not keep the name. Definitely should not keep the name, or definitely should keep the name. Definitely not. Keep the name. Definitely not, got you. I got so. I got so. Mm-hmm. And sir, why do you feel that way? Why they should not definitely... Uh, because he's a racist, because he was a racist, a white supremacist... I'm sorry? Because he was a racist. Repeat, because I have to note down. Sure, because he was a racist... A white supremacist mm-hmm. and Sorry? racist white supremacist, mm-hmm. and also because white supportive. No, white supremacist. S U P. White supremacist. Supremacist. Mm-hmm. It's like supreme with an I S T at the S-U-P. end. S U P. R E M. I S T. White supremacist. Oh, supremacist. Uh-huh, got you. Okay. And? and because the Red Sox have a legacy of sexual abuse and pedophilia. Have a legacy of sexual abuse? Uh-huh. Pedophilia. And pedo? Pedophilia. P E. Uh, no. Child molestation. Yep. Can you just spell it? Child molestation? You want me to spell child molestation? Child molestation. Yes. Got you. Child molestation. Got you. Racist, white supremacist. Racist, white supremacist. Racist, white supremacist. Got you. And what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear Yorkie Way? Racist, white supremacist way. Just give me one second. White supremacist way. No one will believe it. Just a moment. Just a moment, sir. Okay? Yep. Racist White Supremacist Foundation. Got you. Okay, perfect. And how much would you say you know about Tom Yorkie? So you would say you know a great deal about him, or you would say some. A great deal. A A great deal. Too much. Too much. She was, 
uh, a bunch. She was a nice lady. She just had a bad choice in men. <laughs> so you would say what? She was a nice lady. She had a bad choice in men. Okay. She had a bad choice, but what do you say? You How much do you know about her? You e know? A, a lot. You Everything. A lot. A great deal. Uh-huh. And in your opinion, what kind of impact has Tom Yorkie made in Boston? You would say very positive, somewhat positive, somewhat negative, very negative. Mm. Very negative. Very negative. What it, what Tom Yorkie did, very negative. And in your opinion, what kind of impact has Yorkie Foundation made in Boston? Very positive, somewhat positive, somewhat negative, very negative. Mm. I'll give them a some I'll give them a somewhat negative. Somewhat negative. Somewhat. Only because they tried to clean up they tried to clean up the reputation based on guilt. They're trying to clean up it because it's messing with the brand. Uh huh. Go ahead. Oh, got you. Mhm. And now thinking about Tom Yorkie, how do you feel about his legacy and track record? Very positive, somewhat positive, somewhat negative, very negative. Very negative. Very negative. Uh huh. And how does Tom Yorkie's reputation impact your opinion of the Yorkie Foundation? So you would say very positively impacts your opinion. Very negatively. Uh, very. Very negatively. The worst. Alright. So now, you, you will now be presented a series of statements about various aspects of Yorkie Foundation. So please listen to each statement and think about how each statement makes the Yorkie Foundation. And how does the statement change how you feel towards the Yorkie Foundation? Okay. Well, not really. This I guy's in India. Okay, I got it one room. And the old one will be. That's it. And tomorrow will be back. I got it my, my pay, my everything. Right here. Hold, hold on one second. Hold on. I have to handle something. Hold on one second, okay? Okay? Then hold up. Oh, Danny. He was tremendously popular in Boston for his generosity. So for this statement, what would you say? How, how does the statement change you feel towards the Yaki Foundation? You would say much more favorable, somewhat more favorable, or you would say somewhat less favorable, or you would say much less favorable, or you would say no difference. Much less favorable, and it actually makes me angry. Much more. Much less favorable. So you would say much more favorable? No, no. Much less favorable, less favorable. and it less makes favorable. me okay. and it makes me very angry because I know more than the average person, and I know that that is a bold face. Okay. Hold on, and I know that that is a bold face, concocted lie, generated based on the fact that the Yaki Foundation has millions of dollars, and you paid some PR firm. Probably the same one that's paying for the survey to to concoct that little statement, which is complete garbage. Okay, no, okay. Number two statement, sir. Yorkie generosity. Tom Yorkie was fortunate to inherit wealth as a young man, and through his work in business, that wealth grew to a sizable fortune during his life. So Tom and Jean. Both believe that their wealth should be put towards supporting those who are less fortunate. So Tom Yorkie supported the work of Dr. Sidney Farber and in 1953 adopted the Jimmy Fund as the official charity of the Boston Red Sox. So when Tom died, he left direction that the vast majority of his wealth be used to help those in need. Since then, the Yorkie Foundation has donated over $400 million to support organizations working to enrich and improve lives through health care, education, human services, youth and amateur athletics, art and culture, and conservation and wildlife. So after re uh, hearing this statement, how does it change 
you how you feel towards the Yonke Foundation. Much more favorable, somewhat more favorable, somewhat less favorable, much less favorable, or no difference. Somewhat less favorable. Yeah, because hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop. Because it's like when somebody does something that's so horrible and egregious, and then they want to tell you, "Oh yeah, but I donated to Christmas fund for the kids." Okay. So he worked, uh, you know, for can he worked for cancer, whatnot, and there's a Bible verse that says, "To whom much is given, much is required." So, while four hundred million sounds like a lot of money donated over a certain period of time, I know that it's really nothing for them. I mean, that's like that's like ten baseball players' salary. So, yeah, right. And since you know he died a long time ago, um, there's you're talking about decades over decades. You you've dispersed four hundred million for stuff that any human person should care about, stuff like cancer, and now what you're supposed to get, like, points on that when I'm talking to you about your vicious attitude as it, it goes towards race and racism and the fact that there were pedophiles and sexual abusers who were on the Red Sox staff. Yeah, no, one doesn't, one doesn't cancel out another. No difference. It's not related. So Tom, Tom Yockey was a piece of crap of a human. He was a bad man. His wife, his widow, is left with all that money. And she seeks to salvage the family name and the brand and go do some good work for people who are sick and what have you. God bless her. She knows what type of vicious man that was. She had to live with him. No now difference. You, I'm being nice. Opinion, should, yeah. mm-hmm. And so now in your opinion, should the city of Boston keep the name Yorkie Way at Fenway Park? No. So you would say definitely? Uh, definitely not. Definitely should not keep the name? Definitely Yorkie. not. You already asked me that question. <laughs> yep. And in your opinion, what kind of impact has the Yorkie Foundation made in Boston? So you would say Yorkie Foundation very negative. has made a very positive impact? Very, very negative. negative. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And sir, I will read you two statements. Just let me know which one do you agree with more. So number one would be, I do not believe tradition is important. I do not find it necessary to follow traditions, no matter how old they are. Number two statement, I believe tradition is important. We must do everything we can to uphold tradition. Keep America great. Hold on. And you want me to agree... To one of those statements? No. Which do you agree with more of these two two statements? I don't like that question. That's this is this is very philo- philosophical. Is, Hold on. I mean, I'm, so this is just to understand. No, I'm trying to tell you how how we can understand this. Both of those things are open ended, so. Whether I believe the tradition is important or don't believe the tradition is important, you didn't define what type of traditions. 
There's the type of traditions that people get beheaded for stealing candy. There's the type of traditions that a young man is celebrated when he turns 18. So I'm all for good traditions and I'm against bad traditions. So that question is really um, stupid. Right. But sir, uh, it, it is just to un- it just to understand about you. If it's a good tradition or not, some traditions would say, "Hey, if your wife talks back to you, you can beat her." I don't agree with that tradition. No, I believe the traditions are. Tradition, tradition. tradition is good and important. important Absolutely, if it's good tradition. Got you, got you. And so, which of the following best describes your political ideology? So, you would say you are very liberal, somewhat liberal, or you would say you are moderate, middle of road, or you would say somewhat punk, somewhat conservative, or very conservative. None of the above. I'm revolutionary. Okay. I mean, so you guys are just, you know, you're just a research group. Or, you know, who are preparing for the mayor and the election, so on and so forth. 
And where were you based out of? We are based in Boston. Okay. Street, Boston. Okay. So you're over there by where all the lobbyists are? I'm sorry? By where the lobbyists are. Um, we, we are companies that we research projects uh, from time to time. I might need to hire you for a project that I'm working on. How do I make that happen? I'm sorry? I might need to really speak to somebody else. I, I might consider hiring you for a project that I'm working on. And also, too, I'd be very interested. Like, if you're trying to collect data for this Yawkey thing, I wonder if you have some back-end stuff, maybe a widget or any other types of online information uh, collection because I could put that on my various websites or sent out uh, to my network if we were able to. Sure, uh, we do have our website, so you Did you did you did you hear the call when I when I gave uh, the reasoning behind the the Yaki problem? Oh well, yes, uh, Alex did put on the loudspeaker for a while, and then uh, we have other associates who are on the call as well. So it was not for more than two to five minutes, I think. So of course uh, we have received your feedback, and we do have a new recording, and we would go through the recording once again. Okay, all right, well, let, let's move forward from there. And then the only other thing I just want to get clarification on is do you have an actual online mechanism uh, to do this? And not just your website for the company, but I'm saying, like, are you doing this? Are you doing any kind of online polling or online survey in regards to the Yawkey thing? For Yawkey, no, not at the moment. It's got to be an uh, uh, internal research. All phone calls. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Thank you. Right, you have a great day. Right, Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you. You too. You too bye. Right, bye bye. We gotta do a wrap up video at some point. <laughs>